I said, Philippe, I want to learn this language. I want to learn other languages, and I want to travel and help children who are struggling in school. I want to speak to them face to face in their own language without an interpreter. When I told this guy this, he looked at me and he gave me that very angry French no. No. So, Mr. Garcia, tu sais pas si tu veux sympathy like you to learn français because David, you are from the United States. <laughs> Maybe somebody from Canada, or maybe somebody from Great Britain, but David, never somebody from the United States. And I said, Philippe, don't spit when you talk, man. That is disgusting. But after I was in Europe for eight weeks, I was speaking French fluently. This was incredible, because I grew up thinking I was not smart. It's not just about having a piece of paper. It's about you exploring your strength. See, I grew up thinking I wasn't smart, but after I was able to find my genius and my, my, my superpower, then I was able to learn these languages. After I was able to find and lock into my talent, I was able to work. And then I got the confidence, and later on, as, as an adult in my 20s, I said, man, I need to finish school. And I, I started university, but it was tough for me. I was there and I started working. I was able to get a vocation. I was able to get a trade at work. And then I was able to go back and finish a little later in life. And my friends asked me, and said, hey David, did you like going to school? I said, I love college, man. I loved it. It was the best nine years of my life. <laughs> it's amazing, man. I got a college diploma and a high school reunion like on the same weekend. Think of how many people grow up thinking that they're not capable individuals. Every single one of our students have a superpower. One of the ways that we find our strength is through our past. In all of our past, there's great things and there's challenging things. And I shared with you earlier some of the challenges of struggling linguistically, struggling through school. But those, uh, those challenges have given me power. And if you think in your life, what are some of the things you had to overcome to get to where you're at? As, an, as a counselor, as a professional, somebody helping other children. Many of you didn't just get here without any challenges. I have seven teaching certifications. And my teacher friend said, hey man, how do you have all those teaching certifications? And I say, it's real simple. I'm not afraid to fail. I've been failing all my life. <laughs> failing one more class ain't gonna hurt me. My, my students, I don't know if they think that I just live in school. Right? I think they think that I teach, close down the classroom, and have a futon and go to bed. <laughs> like my high school students, I understand elementary, but my high school students, they're like, I saw Mr. Garcia at the grocery store, it was so awkward. <laughs> Why is that awkward? <laughs> See, and, and what you and I do is we help children. We're helping them through their issues. We're helping them through their challenges. Say, hey, it's okay for your first reaction to be the way it is. It's okay to feel disappointment. But people who are successful don't stay here. We write a new story. And what we do as educators in 2022, as counselors, people who work with children, we're remixers. It's every day we're performing and we're artists. What you do is incredible. You have the job of 10 people and we do it for children. We let children know that you can borrow my faith until you have your own. You can stand on my shoulders until you can stand on your own. We let them know, I am only successful when you are successful. We let them know, when you graduate, it's not just you. I'm up there with you because I know I was a part of your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for what you do. Thank you for walking with children in the most difficult time of education in this country. You are the ones who are helping them reframe the story. Let's keep on encouraging kids. Let's keep on letting them know that success is not one linear path. There are many ways. And for some students, it's university. For some, it's a vocation or technical trade. Right? That's something that we've learned even in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. How many people have had to pivot in their career 
And what we're doing is letting them know, hey, these are the tools. This is what's available. You go find your success. There's not just one way or one job. Success is for all people. Doesn't matter what language you speak at home, success is for all people. Doesn't matter where you grew up, success is for all people. Doesn't matter what your last name is, doesn't matter what color your skin is, success is for all people. Doesn't matter your gender, success is for all people. And my job is to be here and applauding you every step of the way. Everyone has an inner genius. Every single student we serve as a genius. Today, every one of us here, everybody is great. That's something, it's a beautiful thing. We've learned through multiple intelligence theory that every single one of us have a superpower. What you do is incredible. You have the job of 10 people, and we do it for children. Let's continue helping children be successful.